kind of hot. Got some water. We'll be good. What could possibly be better than a spontaneous, poorly planned hiking overnight camping trip to Enchanted Rock in the middle of June? It's only 100 degrees. Let's go have some fun. Who's excited to see a time lapse of me putting up a tent? I know. Everyone loves time lapses. Who's excited to go see some of the hiking? I know I am. Let's go. So up that way is the camping site. Here is the main road and the exit. More camping over there. And parking lot uh, restaurants. So we are there. I think uh, for right now, we're going to try to go around part of the loop trail, cut up through this way, and then come back over here and rest a little bit. And then we'll head to the top, hopefully to catch sunset. As a reminder, bring sunscreen and a lot of water because it's the desert. I totally forgot to bring sunscreen. It's hot out here. Oh, that's nice. Oh. So it seems like one of the nicer things that the park is taking reservations and limiting the number of people is it's not very crowded. It's quiet, secluded. I mean, there's totally nobody out here. Uh, it is the middle of the week, but I'm sure it's more crowded on the weekend. But uh, I think the reservation thing uh, may stick even after the uh, COVID issues are over. So, we'll see. But if you're looking for some beautiful scenery, uh, South Texas desert, this is definitely a place to go. And at this point, we haven't even seen Enchanted Rock.
staying and then we also have some hike in bring your own water limited facilities area let's go take a look at it all right this is where we are on the map and there's the scenic overlook we just went to and i did check out the composting toilet it is there let's see if anybody's camping i'm not sure if these sites are actually even open why i sure don't see anyone out here Looks like they're not booking these sites as of yet because online they showed it's all being booked but this would be pretty awesome nice shaded spot so yeah none of these uh, primitive sites here at least at this location are uh, occupied but online they show as being rented out so I'm assuming that they just haven't uh, opened these back up yet and maybe they will in the future so definitely something for you to check out they're actually pretty good uh, but they are about a two mile walk or excuse me a two mile hike uh, from the parking lot area definitely a little climb coming up out of Echo Camp.
All right, so it's about an hour before sunset, and we're gonna head up to the top of Enchanted Rock to uh, see if we can get a good look at the sunset. That's the main reason we're out here, right? Get some nice scenery in. Right, see you in a bit. It's really interesting how uh, empty the parking lot is. Uh, usually this place is pretty packed, but I guess they're really restricting the amount of people that they let in uh, at any given time. So, plan ahead if you want to visit. On this end of the uh, parking lot, basically, the camping is down on the other end, and on this end they do have more restrooms and a Kona ice truck, which isn't open, of course. Uh, but really, outside of the camping area, there's probably only like cars here uh, pretty limited doesn't translate well on the camera but this thing's freaking huge Canyon we came over right there so it's not a bad idea to hike around Echo Canyon and then head to the top because well <laughs> we're about a quarter of the way there already <laughs> 